hid behind smiles and crazy hot clothes. I learned to kiss boys with my tongue. That's good. But oh, the world, it held me down. I, it weighed like a concrete prom queen crown. My God, it's beautiful. Um, so I made it my New Year's resolution to do more with this YouTube channel and more with my cosplays, and I thought, let's do some makeup tutorials this year, why not? Um, so the first video and makeup tutorial of the new year and the new decade is Miss Veronica Sawyer from The Heathers. Now, I do have to say, um, this is more musical-based based off of the musical rather than the movie. We ignore the others that are not the musical in the movie, but um, I will be showing you how I do my rendition of Veronica Sawyer and all of the products that I use will be listed down below. So base makeup is very simple. I prime my skin and then I apply foundation. I do not apply concealer, but feel free to if you want to. Then after that, I contour my cheeks, forehead, nose, and my jaw. My goal with this look is to basically normal on the cheekbones, normal on the forehead, and then accentuate the jaw and make my nose look slimmer. After I highlight my cheekbones, forehead, down my nose bridge, my cupid's bow, and my chin. So the base color that I use everywhere on my main t-zone area is a yellow cream highlight and then i just go over it with a more pink toned highlight and then i take the pink toned highlight and i go on my jaw just to make it pop and then i blend out with my finger after highlighting i take a pinky maroon cream blush and i put it on the apples of my cheeks bring it up onto my cheekbones my forehead and a little bit on the tip of my nose as well as a little on my chin, and then I blend it out. Afterwards, I press powder into the areas that I have blushed over, as well as around my eyes. And after I've pressed powder in, then I sweep, kind of, I sweep powder around the rest of my face. Then taking a warm-toned brown contour shade, I contour my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, and my jawline. For the eyes, I start off with a base that matches my skin color. Then I use a very warm brown in my crease and go under my eye with it. After the brown, I then take a very light blue, it's almost a periwinkle, but then I go over the brown. Now, I apply this very, very lightly because I don't want super heavy blue, I just kind of want it to be like a tinge. So I put it over the brown, under the eye, and then I make sure it's really, really blended so it's not super, super blue. After I put it on the brown, I then put it in the V, outer V of my eye, and then bring it into my inner socket just a little bit more, not blending it as much as I did before, but still blending it so it's kind of very subtle.
I then take a dark taupey type of brown and place it over the blue that I put in my outer V and then I blend it out. I then wipe away any fallout. Then using my finger, I take kind of a light gold, a very light gold champagne almost shade, and I apply that from the center to the middle of my eye. And then I do my eyebrows. I use a like a very black it's very deep black and then i do winged eyeliner so don't be like me i started applying mascara before i curled my eyelashes curl your eyelashes and then apply your mascara don't be like me. Then I line my lips using a light brownish toned pink. And then I fill in with almost a replica shade, but it's a little bit more on the brown side. Then I add a little bit of a dark red lip gloss, just to add a little bit of depth, and you're done! Oh my god! I can't believe it! I just killed my best friend! And your worst enemy! Same difference! <laughs>